Hey everybody, it's Bradley. Welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if you are new. Today is Vlogmas Day 3, right? Day 3? Um, so before we get started with this video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button for your girl. We are trying to get to 2,000 Bradley Yvette babes <laughs> before the end of the year. And I think we can do it because we are so close. Um, other than that, let's get started. Okay guys, so today's video is kind of being like chill on a whim because it is currently 10 35 and i have been out <laughs> most of the day and i just haven't had time to plan like some of the other videos but i just want to sit and talk with you guys for a little bit as i put my nail back on i'm using those the kiss french tips and this is in a short one um the short length and I really love these, by the way. They're really cute and they look very natural. And I use a different glue than what they have in the pack because it's not strong enough for me because I am heavy handed. <laughs> I'm heavy handed, I move things around and I need a glue that's gonna be strong. So uh, I'm gonna show you guys the glue that I, I am using. This is the Nailing Quick Ultra nail glue it was like a dollar something on amazon it is going to be linked in my amazon store which i have linked in the description i freaking love this glue oh i cut myself what the heck but this glue is very strong so i rarely have to reuse it i just picked up something in my purse and then my nail came off but it dries fairly quick and these nails are really cute i got these nails off amazon as well let me show you so like i said the kiss salon acrylic french and this is the medium length they're really cute the other ones i got before i got the acrylic french in nude they all kind of are falling but it's just like a light pink color and they look really nice on my skin tone so those are those are all on my Amazon store if you guys are interested like I said but um yeah I didn't really have much to do today um or like a video that I wanted to do making my infamous smoothie it's passion fruit mixed blend of fruit I have vanilla oat milk some Greek yogurt maple syrup I think that's it and that's it yeah I usually would have chia seeds in it, but we don't have any that we put in like water or anything right now. Mmm. The drag an extra dragon fruit for the color. So today's video, I just I looked up on Google like just some cool questions to ask. Well, not even just cool questions, just like something that's sweet and cute. And for you know, if anyone is watching my videos and you just want to get to know me a little better, I just got this like a couple of questions here. Or a few questions and then I'll answer them and then yeah so we'll answer these questions but before I do that just to let you guys know my store imanivet.com is still doing our cyber monday sale it's happening right now tomorrow is saturday and then we have sunday and then the cyber monday sale will be over or cyber week sale will be over there's 40 percent off right now so go ahead and grab that or if you want to get an affordable plus size wholesale vendor list, go on my personal website, bradleyevet.com, and then you'll have um, access to that as well. And there is a Cyber Week sale on the vendor ebook. So just put a little plug in there. Okay. <laughs> um, but I'm really excited about, sorry, I'm scratching the back of my neck or my head, my back. I don't know. <laughs> I'm really excited to answer these questions because I just found them right now and I thought they'd be fun. So let's start with the first one. I'm on my laptop, by the way. Um, let's see. First one, tell me about yourself. So if you are new, hi, my name is Bradley. I go by Bradley Yvette here on social media. I love anything dealing with fashion, business, um, entrepreneurship, lifestyle, anything like that. I enjoy it a lot. Food, beverages, going out. I will be going out 
um in tomorrow's or no for sunday's vlog it'll be fun i'm going somewhere tomorrow but you guys will see it and it's gonna be nice <laughs> and yeah i just like to just live my life the best way i can and do the best that i can and live in the moment as best as i can <laughs> and that's pretty much it um have you done anything exciting lady lately have i done anything exciting lately i say no but then i guess it could be um i'm just trying to like really grow my social media and put myself out there i really want to put myself out there so people who see me they can resonate and we can build our community of Bradley Yvette babes because I just feel like there is people out there like me who can see me as someone that they you know can talk to and just relate resonate with and just also I want to dive into more of the social media but then my way how I'm doing it and I truly believe that it's going to happen for me so I think it's exciting <laughs> so there's that um what made you smile today what made me smile today hmm a lot of things made me smile today um uh, if a specific person is watching then he knows that he made me smile today <laughs> and other than that like because i also woke up today i feel good um that made me smile today I took today off from work. That definitely made me smile today because I didn't have to wake up early. <laughs> Thank goodness. But yeah, so that stuff. Oh, another thing, an important thing. We had like a really cool conversation with my mom, my dad, and my sister Sophia. We were all just like sitting in the living room, just kikiing. As you know, like when you have like your family together and you guys are just kikiing and talking and having a good time. So we definitely had some moments that made me smile for that too. So it's been a good a good smiley day. How did you meet the host? Oh, these are like conversation starters, but clearly I'm the host and y'all are meeting me through YouTube. So there. <laughs> um, what's your favorite form of social media? YouTube. I love YouTube. Um, my favorite form, I guess I can also say too, I... I love YouTube, but I also am starting to love short form um, videos. So TikToks, Reels. I'm starting to get the hang of it and do do my Reels and things like that, how I, how I like them. So that's been really exciting to do because I'm trying to get a groove and a feel for like what my style is. Um, I'm not sick. Just when I talk a lot, my nose gets nasally. I don't know if it's an issue or not. Maybe it is. Um... Let's see. Second to last, what was the last good book you read? Yeah, I briefly saw this before I turned the camera on. So I made sure to grab my book. Y'all, I know you guys are familiar. Like this is a very popular book from Robert T. Kiyosaki, The Rich Dad, Poor Dad. I'm um, clearly I'm not finished with it. I'm only on I might actually read some tonight. I'm on chapter two, lesson two. And let me tell you, just from me being on chapter two, lesson two, I have learned so much already about money that I didn't think about. So if you guys are trying to be an entrepreneur like myself or just trying to understand money more to where it can work for you and not you work for it, like most of us do, you could use this as a starting point. Because a lot of things that he talks about in this book, I've been resonating with to the T and I'm and I literally have learned so much already and I'm like wow <laughs> wow and the thing too is which I'm excited about is that some of the stuff that he suggests when it comes to like making money or not making money but just trying to make the money work for you and things that you can do to start I've already naturally implemented those things and that also just um, guarantees for me at least that I was meant to become an entrepreneur um because like a lot of stuff that he was saying I'm like I'm already started like I'm in the very beginning stages of a lot of things that he was mentioning and that makes me really happy so I will leave it linked down below if you guys want to read it it seems 
intense because I know a lot of people don't read anymore but it's very interesting if you're really into trying to figure out how money how to make money work for you understand taxes and just business entre entrepreneurship if you're interested in that kind of stuff you will go through this pretty fast because I went through already these two chapters fairly quickly so I'll leave it down below or if you know someone give this to them because it's 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 been really eye-opening and I'm very excited to complete it and I've been taking notes in between like that's my whiteboard right here the little black line right there and I have a lot of notes is when I stop and I discover something I'll get up and I'll write on my on my whiteboard the notes um let's see and the last question there's another there's a couple more here I might do those two because I'm, I'm having a good time got my smoothie I got y'all and it's Vlogmas. <laughs> um, let's see. Do you listen to any podcasts? Yes. Um, <laughs> I do. There is one girl I listen to a lot. Her name is Peyton Sarton. She's a YouTuber, content creator, blogger um, here on YouTube and Instagram, all that stuff. And a lot of things that she does like I definitely resonate with her a lot and just I'm inspired by her for one and homegirl is is hilarious <laughs> like she's just so chill but she's like I don't know like she's serious but she's chill and she's funny and I'm like yeah this is my girl this is my girl so I watch I listen to her podcast note to self by Peyton Sarden so if you guys are interested in her podcast I will link that down below I think I can link it right I've never linked a podcast or anything I'm sure it's not a big deal but I will share that down below um she has, I love her podcast so I haven't been listening to all the episodes yet because I'm a little busy but um definitely when I'm in the car or something I'll pop her podcast on and she's definitely one of the um girls who's also inspired me to start my own podcast so actually I'll gateway into that um so for me, I'm I started an Instagram for it. It's called Hello Bradley Yvette. That's gonna be my podcast. And I'm gonna do segments here on YouTube. And I'm gonna start that this Vlogmas. I just gotta like plan and figure it out. Right now, <laughs> I'm trying to do this um the vlogs and everything in life right now is kind of a little disorganized or disorganized, unorganized. So I'm trying to like get back into like um some organization. So stay tuned. Just give me a little time to get my shit together. <laughs> um, yeah, let's look at some more. Let's see. Ooh, this is a good one. Are you a cat person or a dog person? If a lot of you guys know, I used to have a dog named Benson. He passed away last year. I want to say it was last year in June. Um, like a week after my birthday. I know it's kind of sucks, but that was my little baby, my little chihuahua. I love chihuahuas. I don't care what anybody says. Like, I mean, at least for me, I haven't met a bad, yippy, crazy chihuahua because <laughs> he was, he was mixed with something else, but we just weren't sure. We said maybe some type of terrier. I'll t uh, show a picture of little Benson. So if you guys look at him, maybe you could tell me what you think he was mixed with, but benson was such a good dog he was such a sweetheart me and my sisters spoiled him we spoiled him like rotten <laughs> okay he he got everything that he wanted and needed and then some got him all these clothes and shoes sometimes we cooked his food like well you know we like home like homemade food and he would be so picky and want want different foods and we'd get him whatever we want. He had all the toys in the world. So I'm definitely a dog person. That was my baby. I love chihuahuas. I love small dogs. So when I have my own place, I will be getting some kind of small dog. It doesn't necessarily have to be a chihuahua, but I love chihuahuas. And yes, <laughs> I just see a small dog in my future. <laughs> um, I don't have a problem with cats. The thing is, I am allergic to cats. So when I get around them and their fur is everywhere, my nose, it just flares up. I already have like, I like my nose, but I have like, you know, a, a pretty, you know, nice sized nose, but it gets really big and swollen if I'm around cats. 
I start to get itchy, my throat gets itchy, my lips sometimes swell, my eyes, they like burn and they're like puffy. It just, it's bad. <laughs> it is bad. Now, I can be around the hypoallergenic cats, but even then, I don't want to like be around them all close up on them and stuff. I can be in the same room, but like I just can't be all up on the cat and it can't be really anywhere that lays. I feel like cats lay everywhere, but no cats <laughs> unless it was a hairless cat i wonder if that would matter but like i would love a hairless cat but yeah just for me we'll, we'll stick to the dogs <laughs> and the chewy wees the little chewy wees um let's see what is the silliest thing you've posted online <laughs> these fucking youtube videos my youtube videos i guess like there's some videos i look back and i'm like I mean, if you want to look, there's some of my videos I've posted where, like, I take my wig off on camera, just, like, snatch it off like it's a hat. And, like, why do I do these things? But I'm weird, and I'm silly, and i kind of always been like that. Especially, like, people who've known me since middle school, they're like, you're still that silly girl <laughs> in the inside. I'm like, yeah, I'm still silly. My YouTube, I got some, like, things I be posting. I'm like, what is, why am I like this? Like, that TikTok, like, why are you like that? Like what? <laughs> Let's see. What was your worst wardrobe mistake? Currently, I would say before, I mean, I mean, I think I talked about it briefly yesterday, but like how I um, got holes in everything. Like, I don't know if that's a mistake, but like, you know, I wear, I would wear something around with holes in it. Like not even the fashionable holes. It's just like, why do you have that still <laughs> so maybe it's a mistake because i just haven't gotten rid of stuff but that's about it because i feel like i dress pretty okay i don't have the best sense of style but you know i'm also figuring it out too i did mention that yesterday in my vlog like i'm in this transition of being i'm 28 years old and like i still i feel like i still dress like i'm a young 20 something <laughs> year old or even a high schooler sometimes um and just comfortable but like I want to be polished a little bit more like today I feel a lot better because I have my little skims dress on and it's you know it's a nice fitting piece and it fits really cute I'll link it below um but so I feel a little more put together today so that's a start and it's just it's just nice but um yeah it's not really a wardrobe mistake I'm just trying to figure it out um, and I'm just really trying not to wear stuff with holes in it. I, like I said too, I found my shirt that I had on yesterday. It had holes in it. But like I'm really trying to like anything straggling left over, I'm getting rid of it. What's the best restaurant you've been to? <laughs> Let me tell you. I posted like a little snippet of this restaurant on my reels it, we went for my mom's birthday well there's i would say my two i'm gonna do some tears so my two favorites so far we're gonna say like more on the higher end i love the palm it's in beverly hills the palm restaurant so good uh, we went for my mom's birthday so it was me sophia and our mom and we, we were talking about it actually tonight because we want our dad to come with us the next time we go because it's so good the palm is so good <coughs> we got steaks we got mussels we had her birthday cake what else we had we had the cream spinach i think we had like these lobster um clumps with like a nice butter dredge on it and like it was so good everything from point a to z delicious delicious um and they have valet and it's in a nice um area in beverly hills and it wasn't all crowded it wasn't like desolate there there were people in there but it was nice it was so nice um another favorite of mine is i always forget what is it called i i said i always forget the name but it's very popular um it's a steakhouse it's on sunset or in sunset popular steak i think it's like beverly hills ish too um i feel like you guys know already you're already like saying it you're yelling it at me like girl what is the name of it 
Why do I always forget the name? Um, let's see. Boa. Okay. I literally had to type steakhouse on sunset. So, yeah. So the other one is Boa Steakhouse. Y'all. Boa Steakhouse. We actually, we went for both my mom. <laughs> We went to, I have a video on YouTube about Boa. So if you want to watch that one, it's it's on my, my channel. I will link it below if I can. Um, we went to we went to Boa Steakhouse for my mom's birthday the year before or two years before. So good. Boa Steakhouse is really good. It's not just all about the hype. Cause you know, like famous people, influencers, whatever. They go there or whatever. But the food is actually really good. It's expensive. I think they're a little more expensive than the Palm, but like, y'all, if you can go to Bella Steakhouse, save up a couple of, save up some money out of your check, treat yourself, be smart about it. Don't just go and blow a bag and you, you know, you got to pay bills, but you know, go if you can. It's so good. It's so good. I can't wait <laughs> to when I can like just go when I want to, because I'm like, yeah, because we got the steak. My sister, I think one of my sisters got lobster. Um, one got salmon. And we had the cream spinach. Like, we like to get like the the cream spinach. We got mashed potatoes and something else. But everything. And we had drinks. So point A to point Z. Bomb. Delicious. Yummy. Steaks was juicy. Like, girl. <laughs> it was so good. I'm just thinking about the steaks. I'm not going to even go into tears because I could talk all day about restaurants. Maybe that can be a video um, in itself. But, um, yeah, it was bomb. So those two places. If you can go to the Palm, go. And if you go, if you can go to Boa, go. My next, um, next on my list is um, that I want to try is uh, Nobu. I just can't get a reservation. It's like, I'm going to have to figure out a way so I can get in. Cause like you can book, but it's like, you know, like obviously like if you're, cause there's like hierarchy, you know, BS like that in LA, which whatever, <laughs> but you can, you can book if you want to, but there's, they always, there's like never anything available when you want it. So I'm going to figure it out. Cause we really want to go. <laughs> and if we do, we got, <laughs> we're going to be spending some money. <laughs> But we're gonna we're saving up to go to to Nobu because I'm like if I if I go to Nobu, and we spending for some food, I want to spend comfortably. You know what I mean? So that'll be next. And when I do get to Nobu, I definitely will be vlogging. Um, y'all, I love food. <laughs> What's your favorite kitchen smell? Oh, uh, my favorite kitchen smell is when my dad makes his famous fried or just um some his hot wings and when my mom makes her secret sauce for it so good i love when we have hot wings and her secret sauce um even like fried chicken i love the smell of the chicken and the sauce love it it just makes me feel warm and nice inside <laughs> i know someone in the someone watched my like fat ass bitch <laughs> but it's okay uh, we're gonna do let's see the last one i'm trying to see what else oh let me scroll let's do let's do a deep conversation to end this video Ooh, let's see hmm. something that i can share because some of these dang some of these are deep like dang um okay this is a good one where's your life headed who the fuck knows i'm just kidding i'm just kidding this is the most i've cursed in a video you won't hear me ever curse like this again on video <laughs> but i'm feeling good i got a smoothie there's nothing in here but smoothie stuff no none of that i'm just like this and i'm also tired um but yeah where is your life headed my life is headed wherever god leads me first of all i believe in god i am christian but don't take that how you think when you hear Christian, like the people who are Christian, because I'm nothing like that. 
Um, that's just, you know, I grew up in a Christian household. I live in a Christian household. I am Christian, but we're not those girls who be out here saying they're Christian and they doing the most. And it's like, nah, but um, I believe in God. I'm, I'm, I'm spiritual, things like that. So I follow the lead where God takes me. I keep an open mind, an open heart, and I do the best that I can. And hopefully how I'm doing so far, so good. My life is headed more on the up than down or the confused land, <laughs> as you can say. I'm just trying to, I'm just trying to live my life how I want and do things and just be the best person that I can be for myself and others. So that's really it on that. Um, I think it's a good positive note to end on because the video is already 25 minutes, but I probably would have cut it down by the time you're watching this. But yeah, that's it, guys. So I hope you enjoyed this little chit chat vlog um, for Vlogmas. They're, these vlogs are very like odd and weird, but I'm just going to keep doing it and posting. Um, and I appreciate whoever watches them. And I hope you guys enjoy and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.